This connector is the XT60i. It's compatible with regular XT60 connectors, but it includes an additional center contact. The solar charging cable connects the center contact to the negative pin, and the car charging cable connects the center contact to the positive pin. If you plug a generic XT60 connector into the Delta II, it will detect it as a car charging cable and limit your charging rate to 8 amps. But there is a way around this. Inside the Delta II, we can install a 4700 ohm resistor between that center contact pin and the PV minus pin. When we connect a regular XT60 connector, that resistor will provide the negative signal to indicate a solar charging cable and allow us to charge at the full 15 amp limit of the Delta II.